Hello everybody, I am Brother Luke and I want to take this opportunity today to reintroduce myself. Well, I've been on YouTube now for about 14 years and a lot has changed, so I would like to reintroduce myself. First of all, uh, I am 71 years old today. Uh, be 72 in November 19th if I, if I live that long. I've been saved now since December of 1986. So that's 35, almost 36 years now. So half of my life I've been saved, a believer. I, I grew up in a family that was not very religious. Uh, my mother was Catholic and she had us go to um, catechism and attend church. So uh, I went through those uh, training periods with catechism. Um, I was able to uh, advance into c confession and communion. Uh, and then as soon as I was old enough to resist, um, I stopped attending church when I was a, a teenager. Uh, and really had much more interest in sports and girls for most of my life than I did in any kind of religion. There were times where I was curious and, and studied various religions, um, even dabbled in a, a form of Buddhism called Nichiren Shoshu. But uh, for the most part, uh, uh, my life was uh, focused on trying to have fun, and uh, make money. Uh, but something happened in December of 1986 that changed everything. For the very first time in my life, uh, there was a death of a loved one. My mother died. And this forced me to um, ask some questions. What happens after we die? What is the purpose of life? which religion is true, if any. What about Christianity? What about the Bible and Jesus? Well, this was December, and that's the time when some of the movies come on TV about Jesus each year. And I had seen the movie Jesus of Nazareth before, but it didn't have a great impact on me until then. After watching Jesus of Nazareth, and carefully watching everything in the entire movie, even the credits. And when the credits rolled on the screen, the last thing to appear on the screen, it said, for more information, read the Bible. So that's what I did. Uh, I started reading this Bible, and I've been reading it ever since, studying it, and eventually teaching it. As I read through the Bible, particularly the Gospel of John, I understood the good news that Jesus is God Almighty. He became a man so that he could die to pay for my sins on the cross. And he successfully paid for all my sins and he rose from the dead bodily to prove that he truly is God and Savior. He has the power over life and death and he promises me and all, you, anyone who will trust him, that we will be resurrected to life everlasting if we just trust him completely. So I learned that I should put no faith in religion or my own goodness, my own righteousness to offer to God. Instead, just humbly say, I don't deserve it, but Jesus is my savior. I trust him. And that's what uh, I came to understand as biblical Christianity. And I... I started telling my family and my friends about my new faith, and uh, most of them thought I'd lost my mind. They thought that I had become a, a Jesus freak, and I guess I did. Uh, but uh, I thought it was important to tell them about my faith, and also uh, in the hope that they would understand and believe and receive this gift of eternal life as I had. But I learned that uh, many people were not ready for it, just as I was not ready for it, for 
the first 36 years of my life. It, uh, many people uh, do not get on their knees and, and cry out to God, I want to know you, I'm seeking you, I want to understand, I want to learn the truth. We don't do that willingly. Most of us need to get knocked down on our knees. And it was the death of my mother that put me on my knees, needing answers. But um, the years went by. I studied the Bible. Uh, I had uh, Bible studies at my house, um, with, you know, my own Bible studies. And I started uh, inviting people over to my house to study the Bible. And uh, my background also was in education. That's my, my degree is in education. So it was natural for me to be, be a teacher. And I, I started studying and teaching the Bible as best I could, even though I, I was actually quite a novice myself. Well, uh, I asked the Lord to bless me financially, not so that I could have a lot of material things, but so that I could be set free from punching a clock and giving my 40 hours a week to an employer. Instead, free up that time so that I could go into Christian ministry work. I didn't even know what kind of Christian ministry work I would do at that time. But I prayed and asked the Lord to bless my business ventures, and he did. And I got in a position in just a few years so I could quit working. Uh, that was December of 2004. So I was 54 years old and was able to stop working for a living and begin working for the cause of Christ. Uh, uh, the first ministry work that I did was street evangelism. Uh, and I did that for a number of years. I went street preaching publicly here in Las Vegas in Sin City. Um, more than a thousand times went to the public and preached to the tourists, the good news. Uh, I met a lot of other street preachers uh, during that time. And uh, then uh, eventually um, someone told me about YouTube and I started checking it out. I wasn't very computer literate or skillful, but uh, I was able to establish a, a YouTube channel and we named it Sin City Preacher because I was preaching in Sin City. Uh, when I started off that first channel, uh, I wanted to focus entirely on evangelism. That is, evangelism is um, the, the root word in evangelism is angel. And angel literally means messenger. And the prefix EV means good. So uh, an evangelist is a messenger delivering good news. And the good news is that salvation is offered as a free gift to everyone. And you receive it simply by faith alone. In Christ alone. Uh, so this is what my focus was and uh, I, after being on YouTube and producing videos on that subject primarily, uh, I have over a hundred videos uh, that uh, are, are just short videos trying to express this gospel message in various ways. There's a lot of ways of, of presenting the, this good news. Uh, and I was trying to be creative and come up with many ways to explain it so that somehow it would click with the person and that they'd get it. Well, as uh, people started listening to me, some people, I guess, thought I knew what I was talking about and they started asking me questions about other theological subjects. And I had studied more than, than evangelism. I, I knew a little bit about this and that. Uh, but many of the questions I got in the beginning, uh, there were questions about subjects I either was not sure about the answer or it was a completely foreign subject to me. And it, it forced me to study, as the scripture says, study and be ready with an answer for your faith. So um, if I was going to enter the um, arena of ideas I needed to prepare and it forced me to study a broad range of theological subjects and that's what I've been doing really 
for the last uh, 14 years on YouTube. Uh, and of course, uh, as I studied those subjects and I produced videos to provide answers to all the questions that people asked me about everything, everything in theology. Uh, uh, ma many of the subject matters, I was able to form an opinion and, and even even established a doctrinal position. Some of the positions, uh, I admitted that I wasn't 100% confident in my answer. But I did the best I could to study and, and be ready with an answer. Um, but my, my YouTube channel, Sin City Preacher, uh, uh, it, uh, we are also able to um, begin um, what's called, what they used to call Google Hangouts, where you could have a live program and a group discussion. We can have as many as 10 people in the group discussion. And I, I started doing that. I started hosting these group discussions, inviting other believers uh, uh, onto the program. And uh, I did actually hundreds of those programs. Uh, at certain point, though, the audience started telling me and, and the others in, in, the, in the discussion uh, that um, they considered this, these programs to be their church. They said they didn't have a local church that met their needs, and we were filling that need for them. So we discussed it, and we decided that if people have a need, and they, that's the way that they, they viewed what we were doing, we would embrace the idea and, and turn it into a church. So the eventually uh, I started the channel Church of the Eternally Secure, and many are, of you are familiar with that. Um, that. That channel I'd like to recommend to everybody, and so let's, let's take a quick look, quick look at that channel for a moment here. Um, on that channel, Sister Renee Roland and I uh, conduct a, a, a Sunday church service each Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a live program, and the uh, study portion of the program is, is based upon questions that come in from the congregation. Uh, we also have a Wednesday night Bible study, uh, and we've done topical studies. We've done... Uh, character studies, and, and, and we've been working our way through the Pauline epistles, verse by verse. Uh, so we have a playlist uh, titled Sunday Services, another playlist titled Wednesday Night Bible Studies, uh, and we also have had many programs on Friday nights called Fellowship Friday Night. And on that program, I've had a number of different guests participating and a variety of subjects discussed. So those are the, basically the, the three playlists that we have in, on the Church of the Eternally Secure channel. And there's a huge number of uh, programs already archived for you to watch. Uh, so I, I invite you to subscribe and, and, and watch those old programs and the new ones. And join us on our live programs, uh, and not only watching it live, but you can I interact with us in the chat room during the live programs. Now, the a few years back, the Sin City Preacher channel that I had most of my uh, content, that uh, apart from the church programs, most of my content on that Sin City Preacher channel, I was able to salvage and put onto a new channel called Brother Luke. And this is where my uh, content is to, today. So I'd like to take a look at that channel, Brother Luke now, and, and go through it. And I'm hoping that you will uh, subscribe to it. I believe that this channel is, is one of the best resources uh, that I've seen on YouTube uh, on a broad range of theological subjects. Now, I have playlists Let's see, I, I believe that there's roughly 60 different playlists that I have now. But uh, if you go to the homepage on Brother Luke, it starts off, uh, the very top of the homepage, it says, the Bible says. And the reason I have this at the top of the list, uh, and it's kind of the featured playlist, 
is because I believe this is the starting point and the most important point for every person to begin. Uh, the description of that playlist says, this playlist is at the top of the page because it should be the starting point for everyone. The, um, the content of these videos are what every Christian should understand and believe. The entire uh, series is only 175 minutes long. I hope you'll watch it in its entirety and carefully, prayerfully consider it. So that's the, where I hope everybody will begin. Watch the playlist the Bible says. The next playlist I have is uh, titled Street Preaching, and you'll see me out in Las Vegas in the days when I was doing the street preaching. Uh, and uh, not only see examples of how I, I did the street preaching, but, but also uh, uh, I think I have a couple of other street preachers uh, featured on that channel, on that uh, playlist also. The next playlist is titled 100 Short Salvation Messages. This is what I mentioned earlier. Uh, 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 there's more than 100, but I included 100 on this playlist. Short messages, they're all about the gospel message, all presented in interesting ways. Uh, the next playlist is 101 Verses Proving Faith Alone with Jason Jack. Brother Jason Jack collaborated with me, and we discussed 101 verses that clearly state we're saved by faith apart from any religious works uh, contributed by us. Only what Christ has done for us, not what we have done for Christ, is how we get saved. Uh, and so this is a playlist that's very important so that you can use this as a resource not only to help you to understand the doctrine of salvation by faith alone, but also uh, offer this playlist to your friends and family who do not understand the gospel. Uh, then the next playlist is called Eternal Security Proven, and it's a collection of videos I've made and, and, the, and other uh, believers have made uh, proving that eternal security is the true doctrine. It's, a, it's an essential doctrine. It truly is the heart of the gospel, the fact that we're guaranteed eternal life when we trust Jesus and nothing can ever uh, re revoke it, uh, uh, change it. We cannot lose our salvation for any reason. Uh, and then the next playlist is the deity of Christ proven. And uh, these are some videos I've made and others I've collected proving that Jesus is God Almighty. He's not a created being, he's eternal. He is the only God, the only Savior. And uh, we, of course, we use scriptures to prove that because it's clearly stated in the scriptures about Jesus and even Jesus' own words about himself to declare he is God himself. And the next uh, playlist is Science, God, and the Bible. And uh, there's only one or two videos that I've made on the subject, but I think they're, they're quite good. But I've collected probably 100 or 150 videos from scientists and uh, teachers that prove that uh, the Bible uh, is uh, true, reliable, trustworthy, scientific, and uh, um, that uh, there truly is a creator, that we just didn't appear out of nothing for uh, through some kind of random event. God created us and God did not use evolution as the means of creation. We were created as an intact final product as a human being. We did not gradually evolve. I think these things are completely proven uh, in this, uh, on this playlist. The next playlist is called Paul Onlyism Debunked. Uh, there's a, a teaching that I encountered early on uh, on YouTube uh, that uh, these people are uh, the Paul Onlyists, also known as hyper dispensationalists, uh, I, I consider them them brethren. They believe the gospel um, that it's a salvation's a free gift, not by works, and yet they reject much of the Bible and, and, and rely completely on the writings of the Apostle Paul. 
That's why I call them Paul Onlyus. Uh, so uh, uh, the, you can watch those videos and see why I objected to that uh, viewpoint and that methodology of teaching and understanding the Bible. The next playlist is called James and Paul, The Shocking Facts. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that the book of James is greatly misunderstood. Some people uh, teach it to uh, or defend that their position, the false doctrine, that we're, we're saved by faith and works, that we are not saved by faith alone. And they go to the book of James, uh, other places too, but mostly the book of James in chapter 2 to support that conclusion. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that they don't understand what's happened with this book of James, uh, who wrote it, when it was written, what it was really about. And so uh, I hope that you'll, you'll watch that and reconsider your viewpoint on um, James. Then the next playlist is called The Bloody Trail, Pictures and Shadows of Jesus' Blood Atonement Found in the Old Testament. Uh, it's fascinating. When you go through the Old Testament, uh, there's dozens of, of examples of um, it, the, the gospel message that, that God would provide salvation to us and it would be accomplished through uh, some kind of a blood sacrifice. These things are shown throughout the Old Testament pointing to this future sacrifice that Jesus would make on the cross. It really is fascinating and it really does, uh, it is beautiful to show us that uh, even all through the Old Testament we are promised that God would provide a savior for us. The next play this is called Eschatology, the Study of End Times. Now, uh, I, uh, I spent many years uh, uh, studying uh, the teachings of Dr. Peter Ruckman, Clarence Larkin, John Nelson Darby, the studies of end times through that uh, viewpoint, what's called dispensational futurism. Uh, I, I studied it, I learned it, I taught it, I defended it, and then, as I said, when because people started asking me questions about various theological subjects and I didn't have an answer, it forced me to study. And I, I decided that I needed to look at other viewpoints on end times. And I found out that there were um, many other ways of understanding end times that uh, were foreign to me. But these were the popular viewpoints throughout church history. And the viewpoint that I had been teaching and that most of Americans under believe today is relatively new. It really was uh, codified and, and refined and developed and taught uh, in the 19th century by John Nelson Darby. And until that point, uh, that viewpoint was really uh, not, not uh, formulated in any kind of detail at all. Uh, so uh, I've come to a different conclusion, uh, I mean conclusion on, on end times, and I hope you will watch that playlist and consider that perhaps what we've been taught here at this time in history, at this place in the world in America, the popular viewpoint, it could, could it possibly be wrong? Uh, and then the next playlist is, what is the state of the dead? Um, there's a the popular teaching, the, the, the traditional and majority viewpoint, that those who do not believe in Jesus and get saved will suffer eternal torment in hell. And uh, that's what I believed and taught and defended for many years because I thought that's what the Bible said. And a friend of mine came into our Bible study one day with a different viewpoint. It was foreign, but I was willing to listen. He and I discussed it privately uh, back and forth for a year before uh, I was forced to change my my mind. And now I no longer believe in eternal torment, but I believe that the lost perish in the lake of fire. It's called the second death, and they do not live forever being tortured and tormented. Now, if that's a surprise or shocking to you, then I suggest you watch the playlist and you'll see the reasons that I was forced to change my conclusion on that subject. So these are the featured playlists on my homepage uh, on my channel, Brother Luke. But there are many other playlists 
Uh, I'll just mention them briefly. Uh, tongues, healing, visions, and the prosperity uh, preaching. Uh, that's a recent playlist that was just formed. I uh, worked with Brother Nori uh, Davis uh, on some of those videos. And uh, so it's a subject that uh, is not uh, really essential, but I did at least want to express my position, my conclusion on the subject. And then I, there's here's a playlist that I didn't contribute to in any way. I just collected videos. Uh, the teacher is Cheryl Schatz, and it's called Women's Role in the Church. If you watch that, I believe there's a good chance that you'll change your view about uh, how we should understand women's role in the church. Uh, also, uh, I have uh, spent many years of my life studying and teaching martial arts. I've, I've owned and operated martial arts schools. Uh, and and uh, so I've, I'm interested in, in fighting martial arts and self-defense. And I formed a playlist titled Favorite Fighters, collection of, of uh, videos of uh, uh, fighters that I like and the styles that I like. And also, soon I'll be including there um, an instructional video program that I produced years ago. I will be adding that hopefully very soon. Um, and then uh, I collected the videos on the subject. Uh, uh, what about Zionism and Israel? Uh, another playlist, songs, some of my favorite songs. I, I actually like uh, my favorite form of music are, is bluegrass gospel. So that's what is featured on that playlist mostly. And then the playlist uh, I mentioned earlier, Street Preaching. Uh, also, uh, Curtis Hudson, it's titled My Favorite Preacher, Curtis Hudson, some of his preaching. If you've never listened to Curtis Hudson preach, this is an opportunity for you. And then the next playlist is Flat Earth, Could It Be True? Uh, a few years ago, someone told me that there are people who believe the earth is flat. And I laughed it off and, and dismissed it as, and they said, no, seriously. Uh, so, and then I found out that some of the people I knew and, and worked closely with thought the earth was flat and stationary. And I, I became concerned for them and uh, I, I thought it was maybe my, um, my duty to, to help them to come out of this and, and, and uh, straighten them out. So I sought to uh, refute that you refute it. Unfortunately, the more I tried to refute it, the more I became convinced that they were right. So that that I don't talk about it much, and in a way, I I regret even entertaining this subject because I, my integrity forced me to say that I've changed my mind about it, but. It's a, it's a subject that uh, um, I, I don't encourage others to change your mind on it. But if you are curious or interested in that subject, I do have videos on it. And I do, to me, it was compelling. It's compelling enough that I was forced to change my conclusion. Um, then I have a playlist called Jehovah's Witnesses Debunks. And that's just uh, teachings showing that the Jehovah's or witness religion is, is a religious cult. It's not Christian and it's not biblical. Uh, then I have a playlist titled Lordship Work Salvation Debunked. Uh, this is uh, the biggest problem in Christendom today. Christendom is, is a term that I used to, uh, to identify all the people who claim to be some kind of a Christian. Uh, that's Christendom. Out of all these people, Almost all of them, I would say 90% of them or more, do not believe that we're saved by faith alone. They believe that uh, it's necessary for us to um, sur surrender our will, change over to Christ, uh, and, and, and get sin out of our life completely and do good works. And if that doesn't happen, there was no true con conversion. So uh, this is a false teaching that says that what Christ did for us on the cross is not enough, that we must also contribute our part through our own good works. So um, 
it's important. This is, this is the biggest error in Christendom. This is what distinguishes religion from Christianity. Christianity is not a religion. It's a relationship with Christ as our Savior. Christendom and, and all the religions of the world are based upon working your way to heaven, working your way to God, and, and appealing to God saying, aren't I good enough? Well, <clears throat> the next playlist is called Mormonism Debunked, and it's the same thing as uh, debunking Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, showing the teachings of Mormonism that it's not biblical. Uh, the next playlist is Philosophy, God, and the Bible. Uh, I didn't make any of the videos on this playlist, but I've collected them, and I think it's quite good uh, because for some people, who they're, the way their mind works, uh, the philosophical, ar philosophical arguments is what is going to make sense to them. So uh, I invite you to, to watch those if that's something, that's the way your mind works and you can appreciate philo the philosophy that is uh, compelling, proving that the, there is a God and the Bible is true. Um, then I have a play that's called The Most Important Bible Verses. These are just the verses that I believe are, are uh, proof texts that Jesus is God, we're saved by faith alone, and we cannot lose our salvation for any reason. Uh, and then Prophecies in the Bible is the next playlist. Uh, and these are the prophecies from the Old Testament that uh, point to the, the promised Savior to come. All, and they're all about Jesus. Uh, and then transhumanism and AI. We did uh, some videos and collected videos on this subject. This is very relevant today because this is what's happening now. The uh, scientific breakthroughs uh, with uh, medicine, with um, genetics, uh, organ transplants, artificial intelligence, all these things are, um, are relevant today to our faith and because people are going to be told that you don't need Jesus because you get eternal life now through science. So please watch that so you understand that this is the problem that is really becoming prominent in the world today. Then I have a playlist just titled Sin, talking about, uh, uh, you know, we some people think that uh, I and uh, CES, that uh, we... Uh, give people a free pass on sin. But on this playlist, you can see that, um, you can see what our true position is on sin, that uh, we're not encouraging it we, at all. Uh, we certainly uh, want people to um, uh, take sin ser seriously, but be focused on, on Christ, not, not your sin. If, if as long as we're focused on Christ, then sin is not going to be the issue. And regarding salvation, Salvation is not a sin issue. It is a son issue. What will you do with the Son of God? Since he's already paid for our sins, now what we are required to do is trust him as our Savior. And then here's a playlist, How to Do Witnessing and Evangelism. I did that with Brother Frank Francesco, and I think it's a very good instructional video on how to do uh, personal evangelism and uh, street preaching. Uh, the next one is... I did a um, uh, expository teaching on the book of Romans, verse by verse, and then a playlist called The Challenge, uh, which is to really confront the Lordship teachers uh, on their own hypocrisy, that they cannot pass the test that they're imposing on others. The standard that they want you to pass, they cannot pass themselves. So it's called The Challenge. Uh, and then a playlist called The Identity of Jesus, and it's... Uh, talking about not only is he God, but all the other uh, the terms and, uh, in the Bible that we use to uh, as titles for Christ. Uh, and then uh, here's a little play that's called on truisms. These are short, um, profound truths that we've, we want to promote and want people to uh, popularize. Uh, and then a playlist titled Words Have Meanings because uh, there are certain words in the Bible that uh, the false teachers are, have to redefine because their, their uh, uh, philosophy and doctrine positions uh, are clearly uh, not biblical, 
So they're forced to redefine words like believe and faith and baptize and and uh, many, many words they've had to redefine to, to accommodate their false teachings. Um, and then here's a playlist called Resurrection Proven. And that's, uh, we've gone through the book More Than a Carpenter by Josh McDowell. Uh, it was a group discussion. We read and discussed that book proving that Jesus did, in fact, raise from the dead bodily. Um, and then, uh, let me see, here's a play this Truth, my very first sermon. It's uh, 11 short videos, uh, the very first sermon that I wrote and, and, and uh, started preaching. I think it's still very good, even though I did it about, this was done about, I say, beginning of 05. So it's been about 17 years ago I wrote that sermon. Uh, and then uh, the next playlist is, Was Paul a Diatribalist? Prosopopoeia. Here's a concept that I learned about that was uh, totally surprised me, but it's an oratorical technique that Paul employed uh, and that will help you to understand some of the things that uh, Paul wrote that are con really m misunderstood. But w in this context, you'll see what he really meant. Uh, and then a uh, play that's called Probation Versus Salvation. And that's just showing that, look, we, we, we have salvation. It's settled. It's secure. It's irrevocable. It's irreversible. We're not on probation based upon our good behavior. Uh, so uh, these are also videos that, that prove that we're saved by faith alone. And we have eternal security. <clears throat> and then a play that's called I Rebuke You. Uh, this, this is basically the to address all those uh, 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 people on YouTube I've encountered who uh, want to point fingers. They're the gnat strainers, the, the, uh, the, the, the name callers, um, who want to divide and, and cause uh, strife in the body of Christ. So this, these are videos I've made to rebuke them. Uh, and then uh, this is one of my older playlists called From Birth to Eternity. And that's the original version of the playlist uh, I mentioned earlier called The Bible Says. Another playlist is 50 Hours in Heaven. And this is a group discussion that takes 50 hours to go through. And it's, uh, it's we read the book by Randy Alcorn, Heaven, and, and discuss it. Uh, it's very, very comprehensive. To, to me, the subject of heaven uh, in the Bible and Christianity is the most neglected subject there is, and it's one of the most joyful things you'll ever discuss. So if you really want to be in a, uh, the, the happiest state of mind you could possibly be, watch 50 Hours in Heaven. And then let me see, uh, the next one is Examining Christian Creeds. Uh, the, you've heard of the Apostles' Creed. Well, we've, there's, they also have the Nicene Creed, the Revised Nicene Creed, the uh, uh, Athanasian Creed, the Chalcedonian Creed. Uh, these are creeds that were uh, written by um, leaders of the church in the first few centuries, and they are primarily creeds to establish this uh, Godhead. How do we explain that there's one God and yet three distinct persons in the Godhead? So those creeds uh, are the, uh, the attempts to put that into words and so I read carefully and discussed each of those creeds. And I, th I think the church, what they call the church fathers, uh, I believe that they were really failed um, in this second and third centuries, uh, getting away from the Pauline doctrine of well, we're saved by faith alone. Uh, they failed there. But when it came to defining the Godhead, the, the triunity of the Godhead, the Trinity, I think that they did very good work and so uh, that's what that's about. Um, and then uh, the playlist, next one is, is, eternal, is it eternal sonship or begotten sonship? Uh, this is a question that uh, was uh, relatively new to me a few years ago. Uh, and that is that uh, Jesus being the son of God, is this an eternal relationship from the, all throughout all eternity? Or did the relationship of um, Jesus being the Son of God begin at his incarnation. And uh, it's not an argument about Jesus being eternal. Jesus is eternal, uh, and that's not the issue. Jesus is eternal God Almighty. He's not created. But the relationship of, of Jesus being the Son of God, uh, or was he before the incarnation, 
um, known as the Word rather than the Son. So it's an interesting subject. Uh, and then the next playlist is called Early Church History. And I go through the first uh, uh, four centuries of church history uh, that uh, you see what happened in the beginning of the church. It's very, very important to, to understand this. And this can be very helpful in understanding the problem in the, in the first century uh, between Paul's teachings and the teachings that were coming from Jerusalem from the Judaizers. Uh, another playlist is called Early Church Heresies, uh, and I uh, expose and, and explain the heresies from the first century throughout all of church history, the prominent heresies. Some of them persist even to today. Uh, the next playlist is called Dogmatism, and uh, dogmatism, I believe, is the biggest problem in the true church. Among all the people who really believe the gospel, that we're saved by faith alone in Christ alone. Uh, and yet, we agree on that. We're all believers. Uh, on all the other subjects I've been bringing up here, all these different playlists, uh, many people, most people I encounter, are dogmatic about non-essential doctrines. Uh, apart from the deity of Christ, uh, faith alone for salvation and eternal security, these are the only three dogmas that I endorse that I would say we have to agree on these. We, we cannot, there's no room for disagreement. All the other subjects I've been mentioning, all these different playlists and uh, maybe a hundred other things, we don't have to agree on those things. They're not essential. And yet most people raise them to the level of importance of saying that if you don't agree, then you're not a Christian, you're a heretic, and you must be shunned. That's dogmatism. Um, now, the, uh, the next uh, playlist is our character studies, and this is another way of studying the Bible where you look at a person rather than a, a book of the Bible or rather than a, a topic. You look at a character, like the character of Adam or Eve or the devil uh, or, or, or Moses or any of the characters. So I, I have done many character studies, and I, you'll think you'll find them very interesting. Uh, and then the next playlist is called Carnal Christians. Carnal Christians, uh, there are some teachers today that say that there's no such thing as a carnal Christian. Carnal Christian is carny, carnal, comes from the word carne, which means meat or flesh. And so uh, the question is, can a Christian be operating in the flesh? Or does that mean that they're not a Christian if they get in the flesh? Uh, that's the question. Well, Paul says that he was carnal. Paul says that the, um, uh, the Corinthian church was carnal, and yet they're he called them believers. So there, we are all carnal. Every Christian is carnal. It's just a matter of to what extent. Some are clearly more carnal than others, but none of us are perfect and that we're always walking in the Spirit. And then here's an expository teaching on the book of Proverbs, going through Proverbs verse by verse. I did the same thing with the book of Job and the book of Ecclesiastes. Um, then there's a, a, a topical study here on abortion, uh, and, and then a collected videos by a teacher I really respect, Aaron Budgen. Uh, and, and then, uh, let me see, uh, Roman Catholicism debunked. I believe Roman Catholicism is the largest cult in the world. It's not Christian. It's a false Christian teaching, and that's what a cult is. And so I believe we clearly prove uh, that uh, the teachings of Roman Catholicism is, is not a biblical uh, Christian sect. Um, same thing with Calvinism. Calvinism debunked. Uh, we go through that, the teachings of Calvinism, to show that it is not biblical. Um, and then there's also a verse-by-verse -verse teaching on the book of Galatians that I did, and the book of Acts, and the book of John. And that's it. That's all of the videos, I mean, all of the playlists on my channel, Brother Luke. But I think uh, if, you've, if you've hung in here with me, you can see that on the Brother Luke channel, I have so many playlists on all kinds of uh, Bible studies, um, characters of the Bible, 
topics, theological topics, and teaching on the various books of the Bible. So I, I believe the, the work that I put into creating those playlists and videos uh, is, um, is, is a great resource. I hope that you'll take advantage of it. Uh, so I hope you subscribe to my channel, Brother Luke, if you haven't already done it. And also our channel, Church of the Eternally Secure. That could be your church. Um, if you have a local church, you can still participate in uh, our online church programs. If you don't have a local church, maybe you'll feel that many, uh, uh, many others do, that we are your church. So um, that's it. I, I just wanted to kind of reintroduce myself because um, the videos I made years ago, uh, things are a lot different now. Um, uh, a lot of ground has been covered. And so it's, 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 it's my goal now to, to uh, continue uh, doing our Sunday church services at CES, the Church of the Eternally Secure, our Wednesday night Bible studies, our Friday night uh, fun programs, uh, and uh, occasionally I'll probably produce another video on the Brother Luke channel. But that's really a library. Brother Luke is a library, a resource for you, but I, I hope you'll take advantage of it. Okay, um, I know that this was uh, lengthy, uh, but I wanted to reintroduce myself because things have changed a lot since I started YouTube 14 years ago. Thank you for listening. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.